All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the custom Israeli campaign. I've been doing a couple of videos on. I'll link the previous part in the description. Today we are continuing our defense of Bichian and its surrounding territories. If you want to know more about this campaign, I will link the Eugen page in the description. Mind you, it is a little bit harder to install because this is technically for an older build. So you have to mess around with your files a little. And at the very end, what I intend to do is I intend to either reinstall the game or to verify files to get it back up to date. But I'm basically playing an older version of the game. With that being said, if you don't know much about this campaign, highly suggest you check out episode one because I explain everything about it here. We're going to continue with our defense. So here in this particular battle, we took out most of the enemy, if not all of the enemy, radar guided anti-air. However, we are still going to just have to hold this sort of little river that is near the end here of our sector because it does provide the most cover. Whereas if we go up here, they can easily overrun us with their numbers. We're going to set up our defenses and we'll be right back. Whenever we get some points, we'll actually invest it in some planes. But the enemy still does have, I think, up to 12 Strela vehicles, which are very, very effective in groups, so I still very much want to uh, play it a little bit careful with my planes and not just lose them for no reason. We're gonna use our helicopter to try and get eyes on as much stuff as possible. We're not gonna bother capturing Nazareth because it's not even worth any points, and we really need to focus our defense on just one sector at a time. I'm looking through, I don't really know if there's anything necessarily worth getting. Um, I'm kind of hoping they don't have a lot of air support or they don't want to call it in necessarily. Um, if they do call any of it in, I'll have to figure out a way to deal with that. Now the Kurnas would be perfect to deal with the enemy anti-air because like I said, they are in little trucks. And dealing with their Strelas from longer range versus obviously cluster bombering them and flying bases straight over them would be very much more of a better idea. So we're going to get the Kurnas, and if it works out, then we can actually take one or two of the enemy Estrellas down with a strike from the Kurnas. We might even buy one or two more, although the Netses will still do the majority of damage to the enemy armor, obviously, seeing as it's cluster bombs. What do we have here? Those are BTRs and some tanks. Like I said, we are mostly just looking for any sort of anti-air. We get rid of our AA, that'll be absolutely perfect. We do need a recon in this area here. Let's get a trailblazer as we spotted. Ooh, what is that? Hello. If I could take this down, this could be a good interception. Please break off left. You did. Okay. Intercept a T-55. CV. Yep. Got him. Good interception. Good hit. Took out their uh, CV. And now we're going to just uh, kind of sit around here and wait for some of their Strazelas to show up. I think we just saw one fire. But I don't want to necessarily kind of guess where it fired from. So we're going to just hold the line here. And uh, our... Merkavas who are superior to the T-72s. Not so much in the numbers available here in today's battle, but definitely in the uh, number here that is uh, kind of defending this one choke point. Hopefully, we'll make it through. We could maybe launch a Kornas, because there's actually quite a few of these guys here together now, and see what it does against them. We're going to find out right now. I do like that it breaks off very fast. Uh, Kornas coming in, doing a lot of explosion damage, panicking the enemy. Oh, here comes the rocket artillery. That is slightly annoying. We're going to have to keep that in mind as we uh, buy another Kornas. I should have actually bought another net. So oh, this is bad. They're making me retreat from my position. My Rios, can you turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around, Rios? Oh, this is actually relatively bad. They're making me move... Oh, what the hell? Oh, I just totally have a CV here that I didn't even realize I had. That sucks. Let's get you to hell back. And there. Oh, I just didn't realize I had that CV there. That really sucks. All right, well, we just lost a CV. That's all right. Uh, it happens. It's a beat RDM. Still looking for the Strazalas. Really want these flames to get lost at this point. This is actually bad because now they can really do a lot of damage to me as my guys are all out of whack. Uh, forced to move out, obviously, by the flames. 
Kornos missiles coming in, doing some damage. And they're going to be perfect here for us to hit them with some clusters as well in this little tight city. Not a lot of room to maneuver. They are hitting my tanks, but hopefully the clusters finish off the rest that they do. And they are coming my way here, and I can't really stop this from happening right away. It's just a BRDM, so it's down. But we need to stop their rocket artillery from doing it again. So let's get a recon helicopter, which we don't have anymore. Let's get a recon to uh, move over and try and get some eyes on. In the meantime, the napalm has gone. Rio can set back up. We do need to watch out here, considering they took out one or two of our vehicles. We need to get our Merkavas back in action. Our FOB is almost dead, which could spell a lot of disaster here if we don't deal with them. Oh, it's got like one bar of health left. Ah, they just took down our FOB. That really sucks. All right. I should have put my FOB back further. Learned that the hard way. It's all right. We'll have to deal with these T-72s another way, just by bombing them into obliteration using our Kurnasas and our... Uh, Hey, got him. Our Kurnasas, and also using our uh, nets with the clusters. Napalm are close to us, but not doing as much damage as I thought. Let's try and get these ones back if we can. Aw, oh, damn it. I was trying to get these uh, Merkavas back as we could. I'm trying to save them from just dying out here for no reason. Alright, we need to get another... Oh, there's a lot of stuff here on... that's just marked. Wow, that's all just together like that? Alright. Let's just hope that this uh, does the damage. Oh, no, 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 turn around. Oh, that sucks. I really want, needed that to hit before the napalm strike comes in and destroys my... Oh, damn it. That's bad. All right, nets, free kills, let's go. There's so much stuff there. Are you serious? You're just gonna fly around constantly and not do anything? There's so many grads. I don't know why the AI does that sometimes in the campaign and war game. I think it just doesn't like, I don't know, it doesn't like being smart. All right, Dom, this might be worth losing the nets over. Yeah, that was a suicide mission, but look at that. Damn. Don't even know what that all was, but it's all down now, which is very, very useful. The Merkava's on fire, however. Very frustrating here, obviously, for everyone involved on this bridge defense. All right, Rio supplied all these guys. They're good. Let's try supplying as many guys as possible with them here. All right, this one is good to go. Rio's move up as we can. Oh, I just lost my recon helicopter. Damn, man, I'm not paying attention today. It's not a good day for uh, for me and paying attention. Uh, nets, recon. We need to start using these trailblazers as actual armor. I mean, they are just T-62s, I believe. But in the end, they do have a gun, and the gun is all that matters. Oh, how did I lose all four of these You. Bastards. They're uh, they're just destroying everything I got. We're gonna have to hold on for another 12 minutes We're just gonna have to try and defend as good and as bad as we can, but helicopters gonna have to land Let's get these Rios to cover These guys and repair reload rearm them if we can Merkava run Damn it, they killed each other just in time too, that sucks. We're just gonna have to hit these guys one way or another. Constantly using our nets on them is probably the best idea. Using clusters upon cluster upon cluster. We just spotted their uh, Strela. So let's see if we can see them fire again. I don't see them anymore. That, those were definitely Strela shooting at me there. But where from? I'll get you out of there. Get you out of there too. They're, they're, they're being hit from multiple Stellas on both sides of the area here. They're over here as well. I'm not sure where from exactly they shot. 
Maybe if we just nuke this forest with multiple uh, multiple planes and we'll try and find out if they're in there somewhere. They're in here, they're right here. All right, let's try that then. We took out a 15 point unit. Let's try that on the smoke and see if it takes it out. Missile, missile away. No even, no return fire at all. And there we go, that's uh, 90 points. And there's a big chance that one of those was, uh, or th there's a big chance that those three actually were indeed the annoying ass Strela. When we do deal with all the Strela, we can, uh, oh, that sucks. Oh, I don't know where that came from too. If it's gonna make my guys like, retreat and move out of the forest and stop them from shooting back instead of focusing on the enemy. We just need to deal with their annoying ass. Uh, that might be a good idea to get another CV here just for the points. The fact that, you know, they can't snipe us our CV unluckily, but we need to hold on here. Uh, move my Rios up slightly. Because our napalm is, uh, their napalm is hitting me pretty bad. Let's move up one truck or one area. Hold fire on the CV. Closing Merkava is now in the flames that are probably very low health. Alright, set them up. So we're losing Merkava's left, right, and center, but I think it's actually not that bad. Um, not that not not saying it's not bad we're losing Merkava's, but we're losing like one Merkava for every like X tanks they're losing. I'm trying to bait their. I'm really trying to bait their. Um, let's see what's the cheapest plane. Is the Ayit? It's actually the cheapest, but I don't want to use the Ayit because they're actually very nice. So we'll use this little napalm plane to try and bait a uh, round of Strela and then bomb them with the Kurnas. No shots at all? Interesting. Okay. Surprising. Let's just drop napalm on this tree line here, the crossroads. At least make the enemies are coming towards us very stressed out, hopefully. Alright, well, we're doing fine. The enemies are stuck. Calming down this one road. And, oh, damn. They, they keep blowing up my... These bastards keep blowing up my ammo trucks, man. Alright, screw that. There we go. Wait, is this guy not using it? No, it is napalm. I don't know why it didn't look like that. Unless I use a nets on it. A nets on it as well. I might have done that, actually. Let's just nuke this forest with uh, all of our aircraft. And we're just going to have to hold on and try and do another 1,100 points worth of damage. The issue is, we have no more recon, we have nothing left here, we're just gonna spray into this forest with whatever we got. As we're holding on to the little territory. Hey, fire back. God damn, dude. Well now, you might as well retreat. Ah, uh, you're gonna die, and we have nothing, yep. We're losing Merkava's left, right, and center now. They're getting relatively close. If this village wasn't here, this would be the best defense area. But right now, I'm actually gonna start to doubt that that's the truth or not. More clusters coming in. This could be good. Two down. All right, if we keep getting two down, I'd be okay with that. Let's hit this uh, same area back here. We have no like good recon to really spawn anything. I guess I can get two recon and start driving around and try to piss people off. Um, try and get eyes on. I guess I can do that on the right side as well. Let's see. Very good recon. We'll get those two over there. And just try and honestly get eyes on stuff and maybe if we spot something we can take it out. It would be really good. Let's napalm this area again. And put these around. These guys are all mostly repaired I think besides this Turan. What just... Oh! We spotted it. Or where? Where was it? Here? Kurnas is almost ready. Let's actually just hit that with clusters. Or no, let's fly over and then mark it and then immediately use a... Okay. Psst. They fire so damn fast. That's ridiculous. They fire like almost... They fire like basically almost twice in, in two seconds. Alright, let's get out of here, Kurnas. 
one return round. But we took out another three of theirs, so they are now down to half of their anti-air strength, I think. Alright, uh, we just spotted some... We just spotted some enemy infantry. Wasn't even aware they had any, but we're just gonna bomb it with our Kurnasis, which I think are very, very effective at that, too. There we go, look at that. We'll just bomb this village area over here again. And we'll nets the front line here again. And we're gonna just hold off while we bomb this village. I mean, I'm sorry. Uh, oh wow, did you see that missile? It just bounced? It looked like one of them definitely bounced off the ground there. That's pretty. Alright, clusters. And ooh, dude. There we go. 150 points worth of damage, basically. A little bit more than that, actually. So that was actually very worth... They're down to half the points they had a little bit ago, and we're dealing with their tanks. It just sucks that we're losing a lot of our planes and specifically a lot of our um, of our Markavas here, which just really sucks. But, I mean, there's not really much you can do. It's more of a, we have to do this kind of deal. 30% ECM could be good, though, to try and spot stuff with. They got more BTRs incoming with more infantry, so let's hit this with the Kurnas. And Diorite Impact basically found them out pretty hard. So that was good. Uh, let's push these guys up here and one up here. So we're still trying to hold on to bridge over the river. Stepankanov. Alright, there's a ton of tanks still coming in, however. They're not stopping anytime soon. Oh, they just captured, captured, they captured Nazareth. Destroyed my vehicle here. All right, let's keep this in mind. Let's fly our Kurnas around the right side. And then target the area. Napalm, it's gonna suck. We're gonna have to hold on as good and as bad as we can. Hopefully the Kornas doesn't get... I just realized this Kornas is actually a phantom. I just realized that. Where? Where from? You absolute bastards. <sighs> Lost a 100 point plane. Killed a 100 points worth of stuff on the ground. I'm trying to look for... There's only like two sets of three more Strazella. I think they were somewhere in here, so this is just like a large sort of walkway. There we go. We're gonna walk them down the path as we're nuking this with some more, if possible. We'll nuke the city. Netses are coming in. I do love these Kornasas. They're really, really good, actually, at doing what they do, which is just blowing stuff up that is lightly armored. Nets dropping bombs. Hopefully there's some more stuff there in the tree line. Something was hit right there, I think. Oh, uh, maybe not. No, we did find something. That's good. Let's see if we can find anyone if we drive into this uh, area here. 69 points left to down. Jaguar, I don't care. I want to kill their anti-air. That's the, th the thing that really bothers me here. BTRs, really. The 20 mil could probably deal with that relatively well. Let's hit that right there. I think the BTRs might have just moved an inch off of the... Uh, oh, they moved over. Never mind. Damn it. Eh. Bastards. I thought I got the CV there. 69 points left still. And it's not looking good for anyone, really. I mean, uh, we just got massively boned by their uh, AA. And their tanks have been doing a number for real, though, on our, uh, on our tanks. Even though we're destroying them... You know, they have 150 or 200 or more. I don't have those numbers. I, don't, I have 12 or 15, so we need to try and deal with them before we lose one more Merkava, I think, or Merkava. I still don't know how you pronounce it. I think we're doing relatively okay, but these guys are going to have to replenish back in the, uh, the main area in here in the campaign. We're going to have to pull them off the front line whenever we have won this battle. And the enemies aren't, you know, immediately in, basically in danger of coming right back. So, let's just keep nuking this area. Let's get you guys out of here before we fly over more AA and get killed for no reason. 
All right, let's drop some more bombs. Hey, there we go. Thank the Lord. All right, major victory. What did we lose? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven Merkavas. And we lost uh, one, two, three, four, three planes and a helicopter, which kind of sucks. I'm okay with losing the the Kurnas. The Nets are a lot more important. These guys still aren't coming in. However, we are now getting the uh, Israeli fleet to come in here, and our job will be to uh, cut off the enemy. Don't look at this map. This should definitely not say uh, south of North Korea. Uh, but we're going to be pushing in, and... Um, using reinforcements to come in from the flank, much like the actual uh, campaign. So, with that being said, I believe we can refit most of these and just fly them straight back into the area. Now I'm thinking, what do I, where do I want these guys to go? Because obviously the Kurnas aren't really necessary here anymore. I mean, they're down to just two, two Strazala and they have a little bit of recon infantry, which is what we were fighting there. So this is basically totally useless to send any sort of plane here anymore, besides maybe one section. But the Kurnasas are way better against infantry, so they are going to be needed... E Ooh, 100 and... Yeah, there's definitely no infantry there, so let's send the, uh, the Kurnas over to Nazareth. We'll have the Shakak and the Ayi and the Nesher go to the same area and then we'll move the skyhawks to the same area we'll just have the 103rd sky strike squadron go here instead in the meantime i think we're still surviving would be really nice to get these armored guys replenished but without these armored guys i have nothing absolutely zero infantry we have some shaitet those are should probably stay alive well we did get the um Israeli uh, Marines now to pop up. So first up we have uh, Neshers, Kurnases, and Kafirs, and also Baz's Ayits and Nets. And here we have M60s, BMPs, and some more M60s in uh, amphibious transports. We have uh, Gavati infantry, which I think are Marines, uh, in their transports with support and some uh, naval equipment. And then here we have the Naval Command. Instead of the carrier, it's actually uh, just a ship. Now, what can we call in Air Force-wise? We got Baz, Ayits, and Netzes. Hell yeah, let's get some more. And the Strike Squadron, we get some Shakaks, Neshers, and Kurnasses, my favorite. The Kurnas. Then, this might be the more important one we can get here, which would be uh, the Meshayat, the Givati Marines, and if we go here down, we get more Marines, this time on transports that are naval-wise, and we get a ton of um, interesting little boats that we have to use to try to make the naval assault happen. So we'll drop those guys in there, as well as the Sea Attack Squadron. Now, these three we can't call in now. We're going to have to call those in whenever we do capture uh, Namaria. What we'll do is initially we'll uh, fight in Nazareth, and then we'll move our Marines over and uh, have to start the naval invasion. I'm not sure that's going to happen today because it might be a very, very large, bloody battle. Um, and that I think almost deserves its own video. So we're going to come back in a second when we're done setting up the defense. All right, much like last time, we're going to be holding this tree line here, setting some uh, tanks back here, holding these with heavily infantry with some tanks in a tree line. We'll be holding this with most of our tanks. And we got some, uh, we got a CV here with a FOB, and we're going to get some special forces, uh, Shaitet 13, to help us hold the city here if possible. So let's get into the battle. I think uh, we're set up pretty decent again. We'll get our helicopters to take off and land them here. And we'll probably actually end up putting these guys into this city instead of the other city. Because this city is going to be hard to be defended, really. Uh, let's put these all the way back down here. There. Alright, they're coming across the bridge. I just realized I have no airplanes here for some reason. Am I stupid? Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Alright, we're good. Land. Don't know why. I don't know where my helicopter, where my airplanes went. Um, guess that they're gone. Maybe I just forgot about them. I guess. I really thought I sent something this way. 
Anyway, we got 40 rockets on really good launchers. We're going to set them up here. And we're going to start getting our uh, rockets or our artillery going here with four heavy mortars. That's actually a lot of stuff coming this way. My god. Alright, pull up for just a sec. Special forces are pushing in. These guys actually look really cool. And the thing is, they got a ton of very high quality rockets, which is probably the better, best uh, statistic. Wow, those ZPUs are ridiculous. ZPTU, they're just putting a lot of fire down range, man. Let's pull them out of there. Let's use these Gavuni for now. As long as they can get a hit. Come on, anytime. Let's miss, keep missing. There we go, that's a hit. That's a hit. Put these guys in the, vi in the building. Fire around. Retreat! They, they took two losses. They killed a 50 point unit. I'm okay with that. <laughs> Gavuni are still letting loose rockets. Oh, uh, they're going to be pushing us hard over here. Rocket artillery, that sucks. Ow. Run away! I get my elites out of here. My elites are the ones I want to try and keep safe as much as possible here. Ah, uh, these Gavuni are all dead. The Milium are all dead. My elites are all elite! Gavuni, why? Milium getting the building! Gavuni! No! They're all burning alive! The rocket pods and Savevas are firing. Really should have probably had some, uh... Really probably had, should have had some, um... Some planes here. Let's get some more helicopters this way. Let's pull this unit all the way back here. They are destroying us in this city here. This is actually brutal. Milium are out of AT. If we can just kill this uh, stupid SPG unit at least while they're in the building with us. These guys are getting hammered from everywhere. Shytet, they can probably get some rockets off if we get them into these buildings right here. Nice. Nope, not dead, but... Nice, two down. Reload. Rockets away. Another one down, another two down. I mean, these guys are like elite elite, so we have to try and keep them alive if possible. We kind of want to get these Anafas to come back because they might be the ones that we need to use to rescue these guys if it's getting too hot. Let's get them in the building here. Down. Okay, good. Mortars. Keep hitting them. Recon helicopter. Anytime. Let's go. As long as we're taking out these guys right here, we're doing fine. These Anafas are just here to try and sort of pick them up in case they need like an immediate extract and it gets too hot, but it's probably going to be sort of a suicidal extract considering, you know, the range that they would be at uh, with uh, enemy anti-air close. Uh, pushing these guys back into the city, into the villages right here. Or into the forest and other villages. Let's land this thing before it gets shot down. I think it might be in range. Land, land, land. No, we're good. We're good. We're good. Pull back out of the city and just replenish and rearm. And uh, we should be good. If we can get half our ammo, I mean, we're 24 to 40. If we can get up back up to 40, 
and these mortars can keep hitting them into this air in this just general area of just doom support four rocket launchers let's go all right let's replenish them they're almost fully back up come on 37 38 artillery is hitting them we're sitting in the middle of this open field right here I don't like this at all 39 Helicopters are right. Let's try and push it up a little bit so we can get some eyes on. Alright, they're about to be fully replenished. Let's push them out of here. Helicopter goes back here. Alright, we got eyes on again. We're good. Oh, that's heavy artillery coming down on our tanks again. Bastards. Making them run with the napalm is the most frustrating thing. Shaitet are pushing back into the city. We do have also have a uh, Zananim, which I believe are not. I don't know if these guys. Those guys might be paratroopers. These are like elites. These are like special force. But I think these guys might be paratroopers. Though I'm not sure why they they would not come in on a helicopter. But I don't know. Who knows? Let's move on over. Spread out into the building and there we go. Took one casualty, but we dealt with them pretty effectively. Let's get these recce dudes to come into the city here and help them defend. Alright. Rockets away. Kamaya down. We lost one more member. That's fine. BTR incoming. BTR is being hit by like every single rocket in the world. They're down. Okay, we're we're doing this. We're actually we're actually in a good position, even without any sort of planes. All right, these are a little bit less important to me if we lose them. Enemy or friendly napalm. Finally, we needed some of that. So these airborne are. I'm going to call them airborne, whether or not they are. The airborne here are more of a sort of suicide unit than the Shaitet obviously are. I'd prefer to have the Shaitet alive. Oh, they're being AGS though. And a building, come on. There you go, he's down. Bastard. We need to get some Rios to come and supply these guys. I don't think that... That'd probably be safest, considering I don't know if there's any sort of... Oh, yes, you were landing right here. Oops. Considering I don't know if there's any sort of um, anti-air really nearby, so. If you get these guys back to the fob in time and get them back out here, they might help a lot. Trucks. All right, you guys. Move. Rios. Move. Deal with these uh, SPG nines before they get their rocket. Oh god damn it! It's not a rocket. It's a it's a it's a basically it's, it's a silver uh, silver propelled gun. It's an SPG nine. I mean, stands for it, but rocket. I guess I just said rocket. I don't even know why I said it, but all right. Let's go. Let's go replenish these boyos. We're getting another squad of uh, well, I called them like I said. I called them paratroopers back in here. Not really sure how we're going to. Uh, I would keep hit mortaring these EPUs. Recky, go back. These guys might as well hit the bridge again. Rio, replenished, replenished. Get the Rios to drive back. Within range, but no longer within like too close range. Alright, let's replenish. These guys, these guys actually do need some veterancy, versus these guys are already all elite besides this one unit. So these guys could probably get some veterancy going. Same with the Shaitet, really, though. Alright, let's push them up. And deal with them. Nice. Rockets away, let's go. One down, two down. Bit close with the flames, let's pull them back one. 
I would dealt with those relatively easily. The enemy artillery is obviously still a very big issue. Alright, here we go. These guys only... I think we're doing pretty good. We're holding on. I don't really want to use anything very specifically at the moment. I think the mortars here are doing just fine. I've actually been very surprised at how they've been working their butts off. BMPs can come over the bridge. Please, come over here. It'll be fun. I'll put these guys on the side of the bridge. Almost in range. Wow, it was an inch. It was literally nine meters out of range. Bastards. Question is, could I push them across the bridge? Would that be too dip too risky or not? Like, imagine if I push these guys just across. Nope. No, they just lost seven guys there. But screw it, why not? It's fun to try. Just gonna run them across and hope that it saves them long enough. Alright. You think move push these guys back in towards the FOB for some ammo. So we did lose um seven or eight guys when we pushed these guys across the thing without paying attention to it, but we made it across the bridge, and this is the first we've made it into enemy territory here. And now I feel like we can just kind of push through the city. Everyone here is elite besides... Well, actually, that's not true. They're about half elite, half veteran. We can just kind of push through the city and see what's where. Worst case scenario, we'll just fall off really hard. These guys should be easy targets. The only thing here that's gonna happen is you're gonna run out of ammo on our RPGs, but it'll be that'll be interesting, I suppose. Let's push them up again. Oh look at that, in the open. Absolutely destroyed. Mortar is coming in. CV spotted. CV down. Enemies are getting destroyed. Let's push these guys out there. And then we actually did a ton of damage. Let's get this helicopter supplied. And we needed to come back into We needed to support these guys in the city. Rio. Drive up here. Spot it there. Artillery like way back here. We'll just hit that with a 160 mil mortar barrage as We can try to get our chopper into the city here. It'd be interesting to see if we could try or not Recon heli is it? Oh, okay, it's right here. I almost thought it died for one second All right, if we can supply them in there, that'd be perfect. Let's retreat back We're hitting there uh, Ooh, that was a good hit. We blew up some of our supply trucks there. I think we just found their mortars. Or whatever it was. Grads. Alright, Rio have replenished again. We got just four minutes left. I could love to get my guys replenished there at the edge of the city. That'd be sweet, as we're also mortaring their grads here, which are going to be destroyed if we get anywhere near them with 160s. Yeah, they're easy points for us there. Take it down, take it down. Nice! Okay, awesome. We're getting an, a, literally a ground, or sorry, an air resupply here. Come on, boys. Get your ass resupplied. Ammo and now just re replenishing infantry. I just imagine, like, guys running off the ramp, like, straight off from the academy. 
There's guys running off this helicopter into the uh, joining these guys on the ground. That's actually pretty funny. Uh, 33. 33. We just need a couple more. We're doing fine. Sananim. Get ready to engage. And... Oh, just an inch out of range. Damn it, you bastards. Helicopter. Some tow ones over here. And then I'm going to assume that we actually might get out of here with this Yasuo, which would be fantastic news. Replenishing these boyos all the way up back. As if nothing happened. And the Yasuo, I love this. Like, we're going to look at this. This is like Arma to me, basically. Look at that. We replenished them. Reinforcements have arrived. We're pushing back into the city. to deal with these BMPs over here. We'll just use our ATGM helicopters if we have to. It's a little way. Downed. Oh, this helicopter sucks. The other one is getting a missile off though. Oh, there we go. Missile away. That's an easy kill. Awesome, man. Let's destroy some more of these infantry in the city. Look at that. We'll just use our effing mag and our Uzis to make short work of anyone in here. Get off the street. All right. Uh, Mac Matt. More BM24s spotted. CV spotted. Two minutes left to kill that. Uzis are blasting away. Here comes a BMP, and it's done for. Nice. BTR on our flank. Done for. BMP on our other flank. Done for. Infantry on the side. BMP down. BM24. Oh, wow. They just got obliterated there. More infantry. They're actually just pushing into our city block at the moment. For some reason, they thought that was a good idea. We're too close to get this uh, BMP destroyed with our 20 mil. Squished him over here as he destroys this BMP, hopefully. Zananim are still doing fine. There's more infantry pushing into our area constantly. They don't like me being here, do they? My lord. We are destroying them, though. Right, fly away and engage, please. There we go. 130 points for the good guys. Watch out for helicopter. Artillery is hitting. We are going to do a total destruction because they're going to have a couple points left. But, I mean, we can still do another 100 plus points of damage right here if we just jump from house to house. That one's down. 50 points. I forgot those Pumayas are a ton, 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 tons worth. Let's see if we can hit this tree line right here. Actually, can we move our Shaitet across? We probably could. Oof, man. The Shaitet might take some losses here. That's okay, considering they're going to have the artillery support. Taking out the BMP. Three more points. Three more seconds, I mean. Sazanim are surviving. A pretty awesome defense to the point where we actually pushed across the river and they lost a lot of infantry and units in general. They cannot have that much left. I say that. They lost 150 and they still have 331 remaining. Oh, Lord. Okay, the good thing is they did lose 66 tanks. They're down to just two. They lost 179 vehicles. And I think their support here, they're out of Sleeka. They're out of Strazala. They lost 13 out of their 24 BM24s. Still have a ton of support left. I believe we now are going to have the time to push all of our guys here onto the Mediterranean Sea, number two. And then push it into uh, Namaria as we hopefully click all of them on there. But for now, we're probably going to end the episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed. The next episode, what you have to look forward to is a giant naval invasion. And just to show you how many units we're going to have to face 
We have 20,000 points. Oh, wow, that's a lot. Oh, they have 45 and a half thousand. Oh, or 40, 45,000. It's going to be a brutal battle. Hope to see you guys in the next one. Cheers.